Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott and this is an invert. This is a Davius Pentalorus or the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. You can see why it's called a Tiger Rump because its bum has got the same markings as a tiger and it's absolutely stunning. Its carapace is absolutely stunning as well. Um, they're from Guatemala and Mexico or uh, you'll find them throughout the rainforests there. The Fay rainforests experience rain for 60% of the year. So in your enclosure, you need to be sort of reaching humidity levels of 80%. Now over where they where they come from, the countries of their origin, the Guatemala and Mexico, um, in the rainforests, the temperature rarely, rarely drops below 22 degrees, but it very rarely exceeds 34. Now these spiders seem to be comfortable at just above UK room temperature, so be keeping these between sort of 26 to 28 degrees and you're not going to go wrong. They are a new world species and they're a fast growing species because they're a dwarf. So adult sizes for females will be up to 4 inches, for males will be up to 3.5. As slings, they're going to require um, moist substrate and um, quite deep so they can borrow down. Um, as adults, Floor space is absolute key. They love floor space and they will explore the whole of the enclosure. Lifespans for females are between, well, up to uh, 12 years, where males, they can live up to four years. Uh, females mature b b anywhere from, from the age of four, where males will mature 18 months to three years. Um, now, as I've just said, um, the enclosure needs to be needs to be rooming more floor space than anything because these spiders are terrestrial and they will explore the whole of the enclosure and they do come out quite a lot. You will need some form of hide, um, you will need a water dish, um, maybe a little bit of decor so they can hide around that as well. Um, they'll also need at least three inches of substrate, four is perfect because then that gives them the opportunity to make a little burrow if they, if they want to. They're a very docile species and, will it, and um, they will prefer to flick hairs at you, um, in fact none of mine, I mean I'll keep three or four, four and um, none of mine have ever given me a threat pose or shown me any sign of aggression apart from flick hairs. Um, but like I said, they're absolutely stunning species, um, I really really enjoy them, um, I know they're a dwarf species but just look at the, look at the markings on them, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so with all that said, let's have a look at the enclosure, see what I've set up for mine, and uh, show you guys what I've set up. Okay guys, so this is my setup for the Davius Pentalorus, which is currently hiding, um, but just let me explain what I've done. The substrate is a mix of coir, a um, bit of sand in there, and some vermiculite. Um, I've put this cork bark here, so it creates a hide. But then what I've also done is got this court park at the back and angled it. And if I just turn it around, you'll see exactly what I've been. So I've angled it there. And that's where, well, that's where the, my female normally is. And the reason I've done that is because I've created the hide there for her. But then this part is up against um, the black shelving that I've got. So it's almost pitch black here so she feels nice and comfortable. And then what I do notice is at night time she does come out quite a lot. So we'll have a look, see if we can find her. Uh, going back to the humidity, I kind of try and uh, pour quite a bit of water onto the substrate, just so when you look through the side of the glass, you can see at least it's, this much of it is damp, um, but you don't want to be flooding it out. Water bowls here, which I overfill once a week, and then, like I said, I drench her enclosure once a week. So I'll, I'll top her bowl up on a Monday, and then I'll drench her out on a, on a Thursday. But she's normally hiding, hiding under here. And there she is, look. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? I mean, she's a, she, I mean, she's a stunning spider, and, but at the moment she's looking a little bit dull because if you can see the bowl patch on her bottom and how fat her abdomen is, she's coming up to pre molt So what I'm going to do is, because we've had her out and we've messed around with her a little bit, I 
I'll put that back like that and um, lever to it. But yeah, dead simple setup. But moisture is the key and so is that temperature. Remember, it, we've got to be getting this um, enclosure above UK room temperature. So guys, that was a Davios Pentalorus, one of my favorite dwarf species. Um, remember, uh, when we hit 500 subscribers, we're gonna be doing another competition which involves me giving away spiders. Um, I've got uh, one breeder that's gonna be donating and somebody else that's gonna be donating. So if there's anybody else out there, um, any sellers that wanna get involved, uh, please pre please uh, message me across multimedia and we can sort something out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for spending spending your time again with me, watching my videos, I really do appreciate it. Remember to subscribe, remember to like the video, and drop me a comment please, so I can so now you're getting on and what you thought of the video. And with all that said, we shall see you on the next one.